Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. It's very important to know in detail what each layer does, what protocols are used at that layer, what the data unit or the protocol data unit is at each layer, and also the networking devices used at each layer. But when we're talking about networking with Cisco devices, we're really going to focus on layers 1 through 4. But again, we do need to know each layer. So let's go over each layer. We're going to start at layer 7, which is the application layer. The data unit at this layer is going to be the actual data itself. And we'll get into this a bit more in a second. Let's look at the protocols used at the application layer, and this is just an example of a couple. There are a lot of different protocols that are used at the application layer, FTP, NNTP, HTTP, and Telnet. Now, we might think that at the application layer, something like Internet Explorer actually exists. Well, Internet Explorer isn't on the application layer. It is, in fact, an application that interfaces with the application layer. An example of this is if we open up a local HTML document that's just on our desktop with Internet Explorer, it doesn't actually interface with any of the application layer protocols. So it doesn't interface with HTTP because we're opening a local document. The path to it is most likely like C colon backslash users backslash uh, and then whatever the path is to that HTML document. But if we type in HTTP colon slash slash into Internet Explorer, then it's going to interface with the application layer because it's using the HTTP protocol. Let's take a look at an example of this real quick. So here I am on a Windows 7 machine. I've got an HTML file on my desktop. I'm just going to double click on it. And I'm using Internet Explorer. And you can see the path to the HTML file is C colon backslash users, ITDVDs1, desktop test.html. But I'm not actually interfacing with the OSI model. But I am using the application Internet Explorer. Now what about if I type in HTTP colon slash slash ITDVDs.com and hit enter? Now I'm working with the OSI model because in order to retrieve this document via HTTP or the hypertext transfer protocol, it had to be done over the network. So Internet Explorer actually interfaces with the application layer first. The application layer is also responsible for identifying and establishing the availability of the intended communication partner and determining whether sufficient resources for the intended communication exist. The next layer, layer 6, is going to be the presentation layer. And this layer is responsible for data translation and code formatting. So it's kind of like a translator so that if any conversion of the data needs to happen, it happens at the presentation layer, such as encryption. And some examples of some protocols that work on the presentation layer are MIME, TLS, or SSL. SSL we're probably familiar with. If we go to a website that uses HTTPS, to encrypt the data as it gets sent to and from the server. The actual encryption process happens at the presentation layer. And it's important to know that we can move down the OSI model or up the OSI model. So when, we, when I made a request on Internet Explorer, I started at the application layer and the data is moving down as my request is getting sent then over the network to the server which was our itdvds.com server, and then it began moving up the OSI model. So, for example, if we're using SSL, when I made the HTTPS request, it gets encrypted at the presentation layer and then gets handed down to the session layer. When it gets to the server, it's vice versa. So it goes up, and the presentation layer now decrypts it and hands it to the application layer. And then this process is repeated. The server is going to send data back to our Internet Explorer. So that is going to go down. It's going to get encrypted down the OSI model. And then it's going to reach our computer, go up the OSI model, get decrypted, hand to the application layer, and Internet Explorer is going to actually show it to us on the screen. 
The next layer, layer 5, is the session layer, and this layer is pretty simple. It just keeps the information separate between applications. So if I've got multiple applications running, the session layer makes sure that the data that comes back on the network gets handed off to the proper application. An example of some protocols that work at the session layer are NetBIOS and NFS. So at this point, layer 7, 6, and 5, the data we're working with is just the data. So it hasn't been what's called encapsulated with networking information yet. And we'll get into encapsulation much deeper later on and go over actual examples of encapsulation. But just know that at layers 7, 6, and 5, the data is still just data.